ICE CARVERS WILL BE DOWNTOWN TODAY FOR WINTERVAL, BUT WHAT GOES INTO CREATING THE MASTERPIECES? FOR A SNEAK PEEK, WAYNE 15'S BRIAN BOSWELL JOINS US LIVE FROM THE FORT WAYNE COMMUNITY CENTER WITH MORE. GOOD MORNING, BRIAN. GOOD MORNING, SIERRA. YES, I'M DOWNTOWN THIS MORNING. AHEAD OF WINTERVAL, IT'S HAPPENING TODAY. JOINING ME TO TALK ABOUT THOSE FAMOUS ICE CREATIONS IS JIM HAUSER. THANK YOU SO MUCH FOR BEING yeah, HERE WITH US thanks. THIS MORNING. IT'S GREAT TO BE HERE. HOW DOES ONE BECOME AN ICE CARVER? WELL, it, DIFFERENT TIMES YOU HAVE TO LOVE THE COLD, OBVIOUSLY. AND uh, WE START IN CULINARY SCHOOL. WE TEACH ICE CARVINGS AND IT'S PART OF OUR CULTURE TO SERVE FOOD ON ICE SCULPTURES TO KEEP THE COLD ON A BUFFET. IT'S ACTUALLY, it's actually FUNCTIONAL. SO but ICE AND ART THROUGH EVERYTHING THAT WE DO is, IS A FUN, IT'S A NICE MEDIAN, IT'S SOFT, IT'S NOT AS HARD AS WOOD TO CARVE. But it also serves its purpose in the culinary world to keep the food cold. What kind of projects are you going to be displaying today, and where can people see them? All right, so downtown we're going to be carving at the Botanical Gardens. We're going to be carving at the library. Uh, that's going to be at 11 o'clock. 9 o'clock is at the Botanical. And then 1 o'clock here at the Community Center, we're going to be carving uh, a mask, a Mandalorian, a baby Yoda. And then we're going to be carving a birthday cake for the 10 years of Winterval that we're celebrating this year. All right, well, I've been working on this polar bear all morning, and we're going to finish it up. Yes. So let's, let's get started. Okay. So with carving different pieces of it, we're going to use Dremels, and they have a nice sharp bit on the end, so you have to be very careful. And then what you do is you use the Dremel to make marks. So I got this side a little bit more put together. Would you like right, to finish this turn. side? Okay. All right, here we go. Put that over here on this side. Shape, we need to shape this nose a shape little bit more and make it make it transition a little bit more. I agree. More. His nose is a little rigid. So <laughs> we're sand that down. Switch out tools, and then with this tool, we're just gonna we're gonna sand and make his nose nice and straight. So you get that nice transition and a little bit of texture. Okay. With the sanding. And with the sand tool, we have to. You're going to move to the right. Move to the right. right. Okay. It actually will keep the snow from hitting you in the face as well. Okay. Oh. There you go. Oh, God. Yeah. I want to do it on. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, Jim, awesome. that I wore the right shoes today. That's all right. It's a little cold doing this. There's snow flying everywhere. But he looks Excellent. great. Yeah, I think we need to go around his nose a little bit. Okay, all you. All me. Let's see it. Let's see the master. <laughs> so. Looks awesome. Well, Jim, thank you so much for joining us this morning. For all the events happening in downtown Fort Wayne today, you can visit wayne.com. Live downtown, Brian Boswell, Wayne 15 News.